Becoming, in its simplest terms, is creating something. Creation here is not making out of nothing, but transforming what is. So it is a kind of spiritual energy cycle. It is the art of creating changes in the universe by reflecting the potential creation energy in our soul to the universe. How do we feel when we awaken spiritually? What are the signs that show we are awakened spiritually? How do we feel when we awaken spiritually, both spiritually and physically? This is the universe announcement that you are experiencing a spiritual awakening. Attention to the signs one law of will, Everything happens within our will, and it is the will that makes us human. The will creates the will, and the will is the main ingredient of making it happen. Therefore, it is our will that moves the universe. The stronger our will, the easier it is to create universal changes. It is very important not to interfere with the will of others when creating things, otherwise, we would be going against the law of will which is not universally pleasant. To the law of work and duplication, we must pass a threshold of sufficient energy to have desires, for which we must insist on creating desires and concentrating energy. Three, the law of universal attraction. It is the phenomenon of two things attracting or repelling each other. The thoughts we spread attract similar energies. Law of resemblance sympathy in the spiritual world likes to create likes. Five law of gradual. Everything has a gradual development. Naturally, our wishes also take place at certain stages in the universe, so we can talk about a certain period for the wishes to come true. Six law of induction boomerang. Every energy returns to its source. This return can be multiple three times, seven times, etc. Seven part belongs to the whole law. The effect on the part affects the whole, and the effect on the whole affects the part. The more we want a wish and the more we focus on it, the stronger the energy we radiate into the universe will be. We can compare this to a telephone signal. If the signal on the phone is low, we will intermittently talk to another person and barely express ourselves, whereas if the signal is high, our voice will be clearer. The first condition is to want something very much and to be persistent in the request. The intensity of the will amplifies the signal to reach the universe. That's why the things that happen the fastest are the ones we need the most at that time. We all experience this. We are short of money for a moment. We need it. We spend so much time in our hearts that miraculously we get money. The excessive need causes us to want that thing deeply. This also carries the desire to the universe more easily. Just wanting something is not enough to make it happen. Energy tends to dissipate after a certain time. However, if we regularly concentrate on our desire every day, we can send it to the universe like an energy ball without dispersing because the energy will be concentrated. For this, it is very important to do it at the same time and periodically. Secondly, the longer we prepare for a wish to come true, the easier it is to make things come true. Because the energy starts to focus as soon as we start the preliminary preparation, it is much easier to send the focused energy by loading though we can take a bath before work. These preliminary preparations also send the message to the subconscious about how important it is to work and make us believe it. Especially cleaning the area where we want to realize our wish helps us to transfer energy more clearly. Native American sages said, The clearer you image a person, the easier it is to heal that person, they say. Likewise, the clearer we imagine something, the easier and more powerful it will be for us to turn it into reality. This is a very key point. So, for example, if we wrote down what we want to realize on a piece of paper while holding the paper in our palms, we must strongly imagine that the wish has come true, even feeling the emotions. Then we must transfer the energy of this imagination to paper. After that, burning that wish paper allows us to release the energy we have loaded, raising the energy while concentrating to fulfill our desire. We also need to raise our energy. The oldest method used is to use mantra or dehikar. We begin to chant the mantra, which started slowly at first, more and more quickly. As we accelerate, the energy rises and we keep repeating the mantra until the energy reaches its peak. 
that is, at its highest speed. Ancient shamans used to do this energy raising through dance. They danced and accelerated the dance, then shouted, releasing the energy they had raised into the universe. Another energy amplification method is to draw light into our aura by imagination without using mantras. By receiving the divine light from the crown chakra, it radiates throughout our aura and we feel connected to the divine. Thus, our energy is increased for work. Another method is to make a circle. For this, we create an imaginary circle around us in blue-white. Then we raise our hands in the air and say, I am removing the border between this realm and the spiritual realm. All my wishes in this circle come true in the universe while slowly lowering our hands. We imagine that we are opening a smoke screen. Thus, we create a powerful divine sanctuary that will connect with the universe in the limited energy field we have created. If we are going to do this method, it is useful to always open the circle in the same place. Indeed, putting something into words aloud, that is, transforming subtle thoughts into sound energy, which is more physical energy, makes it easier to make things happen. Therefore, when wishing for things, wishing them out loud will facilitate the realization of energy. Likewise, we have noticed that negative things happen to us more quickly when they are said out loud. That's why we have to be very careful about what we say. The only reason many people's wishes don't come true is because they skip releasing the energy. After insisting, wishing, and raising the energy, we have to momentarily ignore anything about our desire and move into a state of nothingness. Thus we release the energy that we radiate and focus. If we focus too much on the wish we want to come true, we block the energy flow and our wish will not reach the universe. We should have as pure of intention as possible and stay away from bad vibrational energy such as doubt while making and after making the wish. We must have complete confidence that it will come true. I wonder if it will happen. When will it happen? Wouldn't it be good if it did? Question marks and doubts that it will happen to interrupt the energy we emit and send opposite energy to the universe. These doubts mean yes, I wanted this, but a part of me doesn't want it for the universe. This prevents it from happening and sets an energy barrier. That is why we must ask with pure intent without any doubt. Old traditions say that another important point is to remain silent until our wish comes true. Telling people what you want and work pollutes the flow of energy. So in silence, bless your wish and avoid making energy polluting comments about it until it comes true. Telling others and others comments on the subject will also pollute the energy. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the like button.